I'm Adrienne Vincent Phoenix, and we are here at the World of Color stage, and I am with Chuck, who is the Principal Technical Director, and Jason, who is the Fountain Designer for World of Color. And they have brought out something absolutely fantastic. They have actually brought out one of the fountains that we could kind of play and work with. Realistically, there is nothing I can add to this conversation, so I am going to let these two guys talk because they know everything there is to know about this show. Well, this is our one of our water whips. Um, there's a little less than 200 of these out in our pole. Um, there are about 1,200 fountains in the show to begin with, and these are sort of the stars of our show. We like to think of our fountains as our cast and our performers, and in that vein, these are the stars. These are the fountains that go higher than everybody else, and they're the ones that whip around and make all these great, wonderful, and beautiful patterns. Um, here at World of Color, we, we think of our pool as a, as a, a palette, an artist palette, if you will, of gadgets and gizmos. And we technically try to, we try to produce this stuff and get it to work and, and then to hand it over to our artisans who make story magic. What's great, what's so great about this is that it is so mechanical when you're up right next to it. Yes. It looks a little foreboding, <laughs> but what it does out there is so expressive and magical, um, which is Chuck just showing you right now. It's like, one thing you'll notice is actually how smooth this thing moves. Yeah. And that really translates when this thing goes up 80 feet high, you know, these things get so, so tall. Now I'm looking at this and there's that, the jet fountain, there's the fan, it looks like, yeah. and then the um, LEDs mm -hmm. in the base. How many degrees of motion does this have? Well, it, um, it, it moves, it, 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 it'll move in any direction okay. at about 110 degrees. Okay. So we've constrained that so we don't get wet That's currently. Good, thank you. <laughs> um, uh, the LED ring have, have our RGB and we can mix them and, and make, you know, technically millions of colors. But I think Jason, who, you know, is the king of, of getting things, the fountains to do things, what would you say, you know, 30, 40 colors probably? Yeah, there, I, there, I have a core set of like 30 colors that, you know, that I use. And then I expand from there. But you have to like, oh, quickly, I need uh, cyan. Okay, cyan, you know, okay. and, then, and then I hit that. And then I'll, you know, adjust as okay. necessary if I need to match you know, Mickey in Sorcerer's Apprentice, then sure. I'll, you know, then I'll dial in a little bit. You know, and then you did notice that we do have the, we, this has a switcher on it, and we can switch, if I hit the switcher button, there we go, to our fan nozzle. So, um, one in, in, in the new show, in Celebrate, we actually let uh, Mickey and Neil Patrick Harris, who are our stars of the show, dance on the water with the fountains. Okay. And to do that, we project on the, the, the fountain, the uh, uh, fan, fan nozzles, so, yeah. and bring them down into the array and allow them to interact with the fountains oh, and dance okay. with the fountains. So kind of expanding really the screen uh -huh. to some extent. Yes. What's great about these fountains is that they're super, super smart. Mm -hmm. Now you don't see it here, but there's a huge brain <laughs> that is controlling just this fountain alone. And all of them have that out here. One of the neatest features about these things is they self-level. Oh. When they're out on the table, there are certain fact, certain things that can make oh, things sure, be, the, you know, yeah. yeah. Just so sense. when they home these, when they okay. tell it where its home position is, it can actually readjust and set itself so that it's, it'll mostly be pointing up straight. So that's not when we run the show, they're not pointing oh, yeah, at us. So they're not sounds <laughs> doing this number. Because that makes sense. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> now, what did you add new effects to the fountains for this new show, or did you repurpose the existing fountains? Is there any new technology we should look for? There is new technology. So we've developed what we call our cryo fountain. So instead of water, we have CO2 jets coming through the LED ring light, and okay. we turn it different colors. And they're in magical places all around the, the venue. Spoiler alert, we won't tell you. Uh, yeah, it is and quite that, surprising. It is. <laughs> and then in, in, in honor of our, our, our new, uh, our, our new uh, uh, friends here, uh, Star Wars. We have a great Star Wars section spoiler. in the new show. Yeah, that was a, that was a big spoiler. Thanks, Chuck. Yeah, there you go. I would have said, see, I would have phrased it as, but you can see you can edit this later. I, I would phrase it as, you know, that big show movie that's coming out in December. I don't want to give anything away, yeah, but brrr, you know. <laughs> but we have this amazing fire effect that you have to see to believe. Yeah, and and watch it and then watch afterwards because it's got a really interesting after effect on certain nights depending on the inversion layer uh, yes I'm, I'm just fascinated watching this thing i literally could just watch this thing go it on is. all day you know and i find that when i'm building the show mm -hmm. there are many looks that you could actually just sit in 
for 10 minutes and just be totally fine with it. Mm -hmm. But that passes by so quickly <laughs> during the show. Yeah. So if the show ever just like stopped, you could actually go through the show and just stop it and just enjoy it for a little bit. You know, it, it could be the World of Color extended version. Oh, there you, you go. know, it'd be like a four hour long, you know. <laughs> I don't think yeah. so, Jason. Oh, no? It's not okay. a highlight reel, it's a really long light reel. Yeah. Okay, so you guys have seen the show about 800 million times, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Exaggerating well, a little. 801 after Oh, the okay, time. okay. Yeah. So where is your favorite spot? Everybody always asks what's the best spot to see World of Color. Other than the control tower, what is your favorite <laughs> spot to see the show from? You know, there's there's two different ways, two different places I can see it. One is from the back because there's so much to take in, you know, far back. The other one is totally different than the front. When you're in the front, you are enveloped when you get into the front. Like everything <laughs> is just right there. In fact, I actually do watch it from the front occasionally because I want to double check that I'm not directly hitting anyone <laughs> with with the fountain. It's a small little concern. Uh -huh. Now, when you go in the front, you are going to get a little bit. You are going to get what some depend, of our readers depending, were last night. depending on where the wind's blowing. Yes. That is the key. <laughs> so if, if you're into that, you want to see it from the front. Maybe check the weather and see which way the wind is yeah. blowing. <laughs> That's a good idea. But I've done my due diligence and I've made sure that nothing is actually directly actually hitting you. So. It's the wind's fault. It's not my okay. fault. Okay, do not blame Jason if you get hit by a fountain. It is and not his, his fault. And that's story, and he's sticking I to it. I am absolutely sticking to that. Okay, so you've missed the best place. What did we miss? At the end of the peninsula. Okay. You're um, in the show. Yes, okay, yes. So that's of course, we get to go there. Yes, yeah. It's not, it's not open uh, yeah, to Okay, yeah, I was yeah. talking about things open to the public. Yeah, yeah. I know. Well, right. Then, then Jason's pretty yeah, much at them for you. Okay. But I will, find, I, I will go to the very end of the peninsula and sit there and it's it's something to behold. Okay. Well, guys, thank you so much for the Chuck and Jason show. And really, it's good thing, wherever your favorite place is to watch World of Color, you need to come out and see this new show. It is, there's a lot of spoilers we don't want to tell you. You need to see it in person at least once to get that experience. And then you can go read all the spoilers, but you just kind of have to experience it once for yourself. It's pretty magical. Thank you guys so very much. And thank you for all of your work on the fountains because I love them so very much. So, You're welcome. See you out there,